I can't believe we've been together for two years already. I remember the first time I saw you in my class senior year. I couldn't take my eyes off you. You look so beautiful, I was literally speechless. I tried to muster up the courage to say something to you that day, but I couldn't think of the right combination of words. I was so scared you might reject me. After a couple of days, I finally built up the courage to approach you. When our class came around, I stood up, wiped my sweaty palms on my jeans, and walked right over to your desk. I'd been rehearsing my introduction in my head for the past 24 hours. But when I finally opened my mouth, no sound came out. I was so excited at the thought of talking to you that I failed to realize the teacher was still in the middle of her lecture. There I was, standing at the front of your desk with my mouth wide open, while the teacher yelled at me to take my seat. All you did was smile. To this day, I have no idea why you walked up to me after class. Was it out of pity? Did you want to tell me to back off? It probably didn't have anything to do with my overwhelming charm and outstanding confidence. That day after class, you asked me why I was so nervous around you. You asked me to say what I was struggling so hard to say earlier. And I did. It just flowed out of me. At that moment, I knew there was something special about you. As we started talking more, I started to fall for you harder and harder. It was the little things we did together that made me realize how much you mean to me. I wanted to be more than friends because I couldn't imagine my life without you by my side. I remember thinking to myself how I was going to ask you to be my girlfriend. I mean, sure, we were good friends, but this took it to a whole new level. I don't know why I waited so long to ask you. I think I was just scared. What if you said no? Every moment with you was a blessing. The long talks, the late night phone calls, all the Nicholas Sparks movies you forced me to sit through. Even the time you tried making dinner for our anniversary. I never knew it was possible to burn pasta. There was that time I had the stomach flu, and you called and asked how I was doing. I said I was fine, but you still brought me soup and stayed with me until I felt better. Every time we were together, I felt like I could take on the world. I mean, sure, we had our share of arguments. All normal couples do. But you never gave up on us. And neither did I. And now that I think about it, I can't even remember what any of our fights were about. But whatever it was, it made our relationship stronger. I can't believe we've been together for two years already. The night of our anniversary, I took you to your favorite restaurant. You know, the one with the breadsticks you like so much. You had to have eaten at least two baskets yourself. I swear I didn't see that stop sign. I... I mean, I should have been paying more attention. It was dark out, and it had snowed. <sighs> I know I'll never forgive myself for letting this happen to you. I still have dreams about us. About you. Still being alive. I wake up in the middle of the night, trying to convince myself it was all just a bad dream. I wish it was. I'll never forget you. Never forget how you approached me that day at school. Never forget your smile. Your laugh. The way you kiss. My only regret is not being able to tell you that I love you. One last time. <laughs>